Hey everybody, sorry I can't be on the call today. I'm dropping my daughter off at school during this time. So Brian asked me to upload some stuff for After Effects and Motion that I find useful. A lot of these things are free tutorials, but there is some paid stuff. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out and let me know. I've always been a fan of motion design. From the days of flash animation in college to learning about After Effects at my first television job. Once I caught the motion design bug, I haven't been able to shake it. YouTube for the past four years has been my training ground. Whether After Effects, Illustrator, or Cinema 4D, there's an abundance of resources for the programs myself and you use on a daily basis. School of Motion is the top tier training page on YouTube. They have tons of tutorials for After Effects, Cinema 4D, and a variety of other Adobe products. They do have paid programs available on their website, schoolofmotion.com. With everything from entry level to advanced skills, there's something for everyone in every program you use for I'll have some links to some of my favorite free tutorials in the Word document I provided Brian. There are some seriously talented motion designers in the YouTube community. One of my favorites is Ben Chariot. Ben has plenty of free After Effects tips and tricks on his page. My favorite thing about Ben is when he uploads his best motion design videos. As creators, we're always looking for inspiration for the next project, and these videos always get me out of a design funk and get the ball rolling for content we can create for our stations and clients. Sonduck Film is someone in this space who uploads more diverse content. Whether it's After Effects tutorials or general filmmaking tutorials, there's something for every aspect of commercial production. One of my favorite tutorials from him is creating realistic 3D photos in minutes. I'll link this in the Word document as well. It utilizes a $70 plugin called Volumax. As content creators, we're sometimes held back by the content and budgets clients set. How many times can we scale animate a photo? I know, it gets boring. Volumax brings photos to life. The added value you can provide a client by going the extra mile and taking photos from blah to bam can strengthen the creative relationship moving forward. The last YouTube channel I want to talk about is Black Mixture. Black Mixture is similar to Ben Marriott. They have a lot of great content regarding After Effects. Everything from text animation to VFX. I'm sure there's something educational you'll find on the page. My favorite content they produce are the motion design trend videos. As creators, we're always looking for what's hot. Whether it's lighting, camera movements, or motion designs, we're always trying to be on top of current trends. My last little tip I have is using expressions to liven up movement of shape layers, text layers, and logos in After Effects. I'll show a little sample next using the Gray Machine After Effects expressions in the next video. Hey everyone, this is a little sample of the Inertial Bounce After Effects expressions from Gray Machine. So this is going to be a text move just using our position point. So I'm going to drop a keyframe for my final position. And I'm just going to move this off screen to the left there a little bit. I'm going to go into the inertial bounce after effects or er, expression. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to alt left click on my keyframe for my position and then I'm just going to paste it in down here. So now you see it's going to come in. It's going to bounce off the screen pretty good so we don't want that for the most part so what I usually do is right click and then my keyframe assistant and just easy ease those keyframes so now it's not as harsh of a move it just kind of lands and bounces just a little bit you can play around with these amplitude frequency and decay timings but I find that just messing with your easy ease in easy ease out or just easy ease kind of negates all that trying to get the mathematics right on those values but you could also do this you could um you go into your speed graph here and then just drag some of these little pen tools out here just to give it kind of a more quick in and a quick out type move so let's play that so it kind of just bounces just for a little bit so that's some of the stuff that I use for motion design and After Effects up here in Pittsburgh. Um, there's so many great resources on YouTube that we can utilize. Um, it's as quick as just, you know, text animation After Effects in the search bar and you'll, you'll find something. But if anybody has any questions, feel free to let me know. All right, guys, have a great day.